Good morning and welcome to the video for fifth grade for lesson 5.6 from Into Math. This is Mr. Parks, a math teacher at Risen Christ Lutheran School. Over the last week, we've been working with finding the volume of rectangular prisms. Today, we're going to continue doing that by taking a particular shape and breaking it apart into different rectangular prisms, finding the volume of those, and then adding them together to get our final answer. So we are going to start by uh, on this problem by uh, going ahead and figuring out our missing numbers. Uh, we have a total height of two shown here. We are going to take one, and then we need an additional one to get it to two. For this one, we need to find a total of five from left to right. They give us one and two. Uh, so we need three more feet to get across uh, for the top part of our shape. Then we're going to divide this up this way. And we are going to find the volume of each of those sections. So for the top section, we are going to be going 3 times 1 times 2 from front to back for a total of 6. And then we're going to be doing 5 times 2 times 1 for 10 to get a total of 16 um, cubic feet. And so that also would come down here. Um, we can break this apart. Um, I do think the way that we just did it is easier, um, but we can still find the same answer by breaking it apart this way and doing three different ones. Uh, so for instance, we would do three times two times two to get 12, and then uh, each of these sides would give us one times two times one for two. Um, so we would get 12 and then 14 for this and then 16 for this. Uh, for our next one, we are going to be working with some much larger numbers. Uh, one of the ways that we can break this apart is to just go ahead and uh, do this. And we can uh, cut this in half to get 8 on each side. And again, we're working with 8 from front to back. So I'm going to fill in some extra numbers that we might not fill in during class, just so you can kind of see how this is supposed to work. So um, we're going to do 8 times 8 times 8, which would give us 64 times 8, which would give us 512. And then our other section, we are going to get... Uh, 8 times 8 times 4, uh, which would give us half of that, which would be 256. Um, we could also do 32 times 8, which might be a little bit easier than doing uh, 64 times 4. Uh, so that gives us a total of 8, and then 6, and then 7. So 768. Uh, would be the volume. Uh, these would be our respective volumes. So this one would go with this one. 256 would go with the smaller one. And then our total would be 768. <clears throat> if we wanted to check our answers uh, using unit cubes, uh, we would be here for a while. We would need 768 of those, uh, potentially if we're saying that each one of those is worth one uh, cubic inch. And so we're going to need 768 cubic inches to complete that. Um, I think that is the end for this particular lesson. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, so this is our last lesson for the module. Um, we'll be doing some more review of this um, and other things as we work to prepare for the uh, module five test. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me on Google Classroom um, through email or through text for my Risen Christ students and I'll be happy to answer those questions. Hope you have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.